a city forgotten for centuries, only hosting the sound of the wind and the witness of the stars. A miracle on Earth, a story extending from prehistoric times to the present day. Petra, the lost city, opens the doors to a civilization hidden among the rocks. Today, we embark on a journey to the heart of this ancient world, attempting to unravel the mysteries of Petra. The story of Petra begins in the 4th century BC, when the Nabataean Arabs, wandering the deserts of Arabia, chose this area as their settlement. Strategically situated at the crossroads of caravan trade routes, the Nabataeans established Petra as a center to control the region's wealth. The advanced water management techniques developed by the Nabataeans to adapt to the region's harsh climate allowed Petra to flourish like an oasis in the middle of the desert. Petra was located on the main trade routes that carried spices, silk, and other valuable goods from Asia to the Mediterranean. This strategic position led to Petra's prosperity and the strengthening of the Nabataean kingdom. The pinnacle of Nabataean architecture and art was showcased during this period in the magnificent tombs carved into rocks, ceremonial structures, and water channels. In the first century BC, with the expansion of the Roman Empire, Petra caught Rome's attention. In AD 106, the Nabataean Kingdom was officially annexed by the Roman Empire, and Petra became the capital of the Arabia Petraea province. Under Roman rule, Petra continued to develop. A Roman theatre, forums, and typical Roman roads were added to the city. However, changes in trade routes and natural disasters like earthquakes led to the decline of Petra's significance. From the Middle Ages, Petra gradually fell into oblivion and became known only to the local Bedouin tribes. It was not until the rediscovery by Swiss traveler Johann Ludwig Burckhardt in 1812 that the Western world became almost completely aware of Petra's existence. Burckhardt's discovery opened up the mysteries of Petra to the world, attracting the interest of many archaeologists and adventurers in the subsequent years. One of the most iconic structures of Petra al Khazneh was likely built as a tomb for a king and over time has come to be known as the treasury. This magnificent structure stands about 40 meters high and is entirely carved out of a single block of rock. Its name originates from local legends that suggest pirates hid a treasure on top of this tomb. Legend has it that the treasure of a pharaoh was once hidden within this structure concealed inside a carved urn. Treasure hunters over the centuries have shot at the urn with bullets and cannons in an attempt to access the treasure, yet they have never succeeded. Today, the damage seen on the urn and other parts of the structure bears the marks of this legend. Another marvel of Petra is the monastery known as Adair. This structure is situated far from the city center atop a hill reached by climbing hundreds of steps. Similarly carved into a rock mass, this impressive structure may not be as large as the treasury, but it offers a tremendous view that captures the spirit of Petra. The purpose and history of the monastery are subject to various theories, some of which relate it to religious rituals or as a burial site for Nabataean kings. One of the most significant remnants from the Roman period in Petra is the Roman theatre, which has a capacity of 7,000 people. This theatre was carved into a canyon from the Nabataean period and was later expanded during the Roman occupation. It's not just the architectural structures of Petra that are awe-inspiring, but also its advanced water management systems. Recognising the value of water in a desert climate, the Nabataeans built a complex system to collect rainwater and distribute it throughout the city. The hundreds of rock-cut tombs and ceremonial structures found in Petra reflect the Nabataeans' views on death and the afterlife. These tombs, with their rich decorations and architectural details, offer a window into the depths of Nabataean art and belief systems. The area known as the Royal Tombs, in particular, 
provide significant insights into the social and religious life of Petra. Centuries ago, the mesmerizing structures and canyons of Petra were known only to the local people and passing caravans. Over time, this ancient city was nearly forgotten, living on only in legends. The rediscovery of Petra by the Western world took place in 1812 through the daring initiative of the adventurous Swiss traveler Johann Ludwig Burckhardt. Originally setting out for India, Burckhardt stopped in the Middle East to learn Arabic and better understand the region. With the help of a local guide, he entered Petra disguised as a Muslim pilgrim, thus rediscovering this ancient city that had been almost forgotten in Europe. Following Burckhardt's discovery, Petra became a major focus of interest for archaeologists and historians. Numerous archaeological studies conducted throughout the 20th century and up to the present day have unveiled the city's rich history and culture. Archaeological excavations and findings from various periods reveal the diverse roles Petra held throughout history and the complexity of the Nabataean civilization. Petra continues to hold many secrets. With the help of modern technology, archaeologists are uncovering parts of the city previously unknown. For instance, satellite imagery and underground scanning technologies have revealed the existence of hidden structures and residential areas. The narrow entrance corridor to Petra, known as the Sik, has been the subject of many legends. At the entrance of the Sik, it is believed that there were two massive rock blocks that protected the city in ancient times and kept evil spirits away. These blocks are said to have been natural guardians that greeted visitors to the ancient city and safeguarded the mysteries of Petra. In Petra, there exists a mysterious mountain believed to be the place where the dead transition to the afterlife. This mountain is called the Mountain of Hardships and it is believed that the souls of the Nabataeans traveled to this mountain after death and from there passed to the next world. A certain point on the mountain is said to be a gateway to the other world, contributing to Petra's mystical atmosphere. Another interesting story is related to the Tomb of the Left-Handed Painter. This tomb stands out because of the unique style and techniques of the wall paintings inside. According to legend, these paintings were made by an artist in ancient times who created extraordinary works of art using his left hand. However, the identity and story of the painter remain a mystery. There are various theories and legends about the original purpose and use of Petra's largest monument, known as Ed Deer. Some identify this structure as a temple, while others describe it as an important tomb However, the true purpose for which Ed Dare was built and how it was used throughout history remains largely unknown. The labyrinth-like complex structures and rock carvings of Petra have given rise to legends about secret passages, rooms, and even an extensive underground city lying beneath. While archaeologists acknowledge that many areas of Petra remain unexplored, the existence of such mysterious structures is speculative. The reasons and manner in which Petra vanished from the historical stage remain a topic of debate among historians and researchers. The process, beginning with the Nabataean civilization becoming part of the Roman Empire, was accelerated by changes in trade routes and a series of violent earthquakes. These theories examine the economic and natural factors that led to Petra's gradual abandonment, yet they cannot provide a definitive answer as to why the city was completely forgotten. Various theories exist regarding Petra and the Nabataeans' roles in astronomy and sacred rituals. Some archaeologists propose that the settlement sites and tombs of Petra were planned according to specific astronomical alignments. This suggests that the Nabataeans placed great importance on the stars and celestial events. Added to the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1985, Petra is not only one of Jordan's, but also one of the world's most precious cultural heritages. 
This status symbolizes international efforts and commitments to preserve Petra and pass it on to future generations. Petra is a fascinating destination that attracts millions of visitors each year. Visitors embark on a journey into the depths of Nabataean civilization as they explore the treasury, al Khazni, the monastery, ad deir and other magnificent structures of the ancient city. Petra is a legacy beyond time, a marvel crafted by human hands. It offers us stories that echo from the depths of the past, traces of civilization and culture. The mysteries of Petra may never be fully unraveled, but this enigmatic city awaits generations to come to explore and to marvel at. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.